Rob, huge congratulations. The winner of the New Zealand Darts Masters. Just sum it up. How are you feeling for us? I feel brilliant, you know. I think my last one was five years ago out in Brisbane. Um, you know, I've been playing well this year and three titles, a little bit disappointing off the, off the match play, like I said yesterday. Um, but overall, I've been having decent runs and I'm, I'm doing okay. So, yeah, to win tonight, it just sort of gets another win on TV and, and makes you feel brilliant, you know. I'll play better next week. 5-2 down. You had to really dig deep in that one was the belief always there that you could get back into it yeah of course you know if you would have looked yeah what I missed early I think I've gone out in 12 I've left 92 again on the back of a 170 I've hit the 60 I've missed another five darts it's, it's look if it's okay yeah playing well but you make your own mistakes and everything's man-made you know you cause your own problems and I went into the break I just all I thought to myself I just need that good start and having that good start, winning the next couple of legs, you're not panicking at 5-4 or whatever it was. And um, lose the next leg and you think, right, I'll win the next couple of legs, you know. I'll get broke, though, in, in the 14th leg. And I think to myself, Bobby, what are you doing? But that's life, isn't it? I got away with it and, and I'm grateful. You touched on Brisbane 2018. That's too long a wait for a player of your quality not to pick up one of these titles, isn't it? And not really. I think yeah, when you look at it, I've only ever played two years on the World Series, four years, you know. Um, I haven't played any World Series since 2019, up until this year. So is it a big way? If you're not in them and you're not good enough, then so be it. You've got to live by the sword, but you also die by it at the same time. And look, you've got to respect that. It's selection. And COVID, obviously. Yeah. Um, going into the final, don't want to remind you, but you'd lost your last two TV finals. Were they ever on your mind going into it? No, nah, not really. I'm sort of one direction at the minute, you know. <laughs> nah, realistically, no, nah, it's not. I, I think this year I've had a decent year, like I said, and I'm confident and, and I believe in my own ability again. I don't think I win enough. Mm -hmm. That's personally what I think. But then other stuff sort of kicks in and if your head owes your back, you know, you need to change that and need to get it right and you need to sort of try and get these results because they make you feel better for the, for the coming weeks when the graph's on again. After New York, was this extra special as well? Because being in New York with you guys, talking to you afterwards, that was the one that you felt that got away. I just distraught, you know, in a way. It was sort of like 6-4 up and you need one leg. Um, and and to be fair, not to find that leg out of three legs. And I had two old to throw in that. Um, yeah, you need shooting. But look, one of them, Michael wins it. He was the better player on the day. Breezes the final and... Look, you've got to go in there again and you've got to dust yourself off and got to go again. And that's what I've done today. So um, to win this one, yeah, it was special. Look, we've seen you do special things in this sport. A win like this, can this be the catalyst in the back end of the year for Bobby to go on and win big major TV tournaments now again? Yeah, I believe so. I think I've been ready for a while to win stuff. Match play didn't go well, obviously a little bit of a slow start when we come out. Um the game's really good. I'm enjoying it and all. And I had two weeks off before. I never even picked up a dart, you know, and that's unusual for me. But I needed, after losing in the match play, it hurt me quite a bit. And um, I needed the time away. I didn't know how I was going to play this week. And I've walked out with a win, you know. Um, yeah, just, just struggle through, I suppose. <laughs> after taking that break from invite events to get your routine and all that sorted and get you back to being you, is it nice being back amongst the elite again and playing in these events? Yeah, of course. If you're not there, then you feel left out. You feel like a spare part, you know. Um, I've been very fortunate in the last, I don't know, six, six and six years, nine months, whatever, um, to to sort of achieve the stuff in the game. But it doesn't stop there. I'm not retired and stuff, and it has to keep going forward. If it don't go forward, then you don't do your job. You don't earn money, and yeah, I'm not happy. <laughs> I remember talking to you when you were in that real dark spot when you didn't want to play anymore and you were fed up with the game. And from there to where you are now is obviously great to see and you're enjoying it again. When you were in that place, did you ever believe or did you think that these moments would come again? Maybe, maybe not. I think the only thing what sort of saved me, I've got really good people around me. Um, I'm very grateful for them and all. Um, yeah, sort of changed your life, you know. I'm not really opened up to that, to the media too much 
But um, yeah, just sort of having them good people, just being able to sort of even just picking a phone up, just having a chat, just getting that right. And do you know, look, I've got massive support, sponsors, family, friends, and and I'm just a lucky boy. I'm happy go lucky and try and give back. These wins ain't just for me, it's for them too, you know. They put the leg work in, get me a bright a little bit and make me feel special. Um, but nah, without them, yeah, obviously nothing could be possible and very grateful to what I've got. And look, maybe one day I might wake up and I might be able to get everything right and everything straight. And if I do that, then, you know, I might be a different animal. I might go and win a few more and in quick succession. But yeah, until that day happens, we just have to see. Back in the winner's circle, how much are you looking forward to getting on FaceTime and, and chatting to Georgia and the kids back home? Oh, it's really weird with like with the time because usually I come to tournaments, I don't talk to no one, I don't even use my phone really unless I'm listening to music, getting myself ready. And um, obviously I'm always looking at the time at home. So earlier when I won my first game, I thought, oh, I'll phone the missus, see how the kids are. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got, I've got a forgetfulness. <laughs> I would say that. I go past a certain time. I don't seem to phone home. I'm not a good ET. Uh, Bobby, congratulations! Fabulous weekend, mate. Thank you very much for your time, as always. Thank you very much, Phil.